President, now, um, as a person, and this may come as a surprise to some people, I'm quite non-judgmental. Now, make yourself happy, believe what you want, as long as this doesn't impinge on, impinge on the rights of others. I do, have, however, have an issue with two particular quirks. One is wastefulness, and the other one is willful ignorance. Recently, though, false equivalences and the use of ad hominems have also come onto my radar. However, I want to focus on willful ignorance here. Willful ignorance in a time where access to information is the easiest it has ever been is embarrassing at best, and in the case of the creation of legislation that has real-life consequences for people is negligent at worst. One of these areas where willful ignorance appears to have formed the basis of legislation by this government and other governments is the criminalization of cannabis use. The fact that cannabis is included in the Poisons Act is a clear example of that. Cannabis has not ever killed anyone. It doesn't belong there, and whomever placed it there was willfully ignorant. The fact that there are at least 425 studies showing efficacy, yet pain clinics in WA, in major hospitals, um, instead of giving their patients a choice, funnel people towards, towards opiates, uh, NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, paracetamol and other drugs like Lyrica to manage symptoms of pain. So opiates are addictive. Uh, Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories have a whole range of side effects, side effects as well. Uh, paracetamol causes liver uh, failure, and you will find in hospitals people waiting for liver transplants uh, due to paracetamol use. So, yet doctors specialising in the management of pain refuse, point blank refuse, to recommend CBD oil. So the only logical reason of why that is, is willful ignorance. The science supports the use of cannabis for many conditions, and people should have the right to choose their medicine. So I know when my dad went through ke uh, chemotherapy, he was very, very unwell with that. He had nausea, he lost a lot of weight. Um, and as I've referenced prior, it was 30 years ago, that I saw the benefits of c uh, cannabis for nausea during chemotherapy. Now, I, I did try to find some numbers in regards to the amount of people that have had chemotherapy over the last 30 years or so. I haven't got any precise figures, but it is in the millions. So imagine the suffering that would have been prevented if all those people would have been offered the option of cannabis to manage their nausea and pain. So when this willful ignorance leads to an increase in suffering, when a belief system with no basis in science or fact prolongs the suffering of people or actively contributes to it, when activism actively block, blocks access to a substance that can reduce suffering, that is the type of willful ignorance that I find incredibly offensive. The cannabis is a herbal medicine. It's not addictive. Some people use it for recreational purposes and has the way, same way people might use alcohol, yet it is much less damaging. It can be grown in much the same way as other medicinal herbs, making it accessible for those who do not have the funds to buy from a pharmacy. When you have the tools to reduce suffering, but you actively choose not to, where's your humanity? Where's your compassion? And where's your empathy? And where's your desire to create, create a fairer, safer, and healthier society? Thank you.